Hey everyone, this is Kubo, and welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island, where we are about to commandeer a ship from the Harbor Mistress. Now that we have gotten our hands on. What's all this junk doing here, cluttering up my shipyard? Gee, Joe. Anyway, as I was saying, we have this Melee Island gubernatorial symbol, and we're going to show to her. I need a ship. I told you, you don't have the authority to. Check this I out. do. What's this? The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Oh, I see. Mm hmm. Well, I guess you are an important person. Right this way, Mrs. Marley. Let me show you to your ship. Nope, not that ship. Not that one either. Well, at least she's not giving us the rowboat. Negative. This is the dainty lady. It's pink. You've obviously got a seaman's eye for nautical details. But, but it's pink. Now there are a couple of regulations that I'm required to explain to you. First. Bring it back in the same or better condition as it is now. Second, life preservers are to be worn by all crew and passengers at all times. Finally, this vehicle is to be used for official business only, so no joyriding. Can I go now? Well, I'd love to hang out here on the docks with you all day. Actually, that's a lie. I can't stand to be near you. Bye. Oh, and enjoy your voyages on the dainty lady. It's pink. This is obviously a traumatizing situation for Guybrush. And here's our intrepid crew. Is that the sheep? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I can. Whatever. No. Don't make me slap you, Otis. Fine. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luker Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. <laughs> Pessimist. Mr. Cheese, shouldn't we steer away from those dark, portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> wow! Mommy! Button down the hatches. Shorten the sail! Clear the scuppers. Drain the bilges. Get your hands off me! Sorry, right, baby. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Marley. Lucre Island. Ah, Lucre Town. The largest urban center in the Tri Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. Uh, yep, that's how captaining works. Okay, let's start out by talking to... Ahoy there, Mr. Cheese. Yes. Good work getting us into the harbor. Thanks. Next time be helpful if you didn't use the ship's maps as coasters. Where can I find Otis? That useless deck swab beats me. After you left, he ran off. Probably looking for new ways to be lazy. How's the ship? Uh, when will she be ready for departure? Just as soon as I repair the rudder, the mast, and the deck. What? What's wrong with the rudder? Just took a little beating on the way past that breakwater. Nothing I can't fix. What's wrong with the mast? Well, it got a bit jolted when we careened off the rocky outcropping. Nothing I can't fix. What's wrong with the deck? Well, somebody scratched. Help me, mommy, into it. <laughs> Deep scratch. I'll probably nothing I can't notice. Fix. Well, I'll leave it to you. Gee, thanks. Well, uh, okay then. Keep the ship uh, ship shape while I'm gone. Okay, so we are gonna spend 
quite a while here. Let's go talk to Carla first. Hey Carla, what do you want? I really get the feeling that my crew doesn't like me very much. Where's Otis? He's on shore leave. Why aren't you on shore leave? Someone has to stay and guard the ship while the big cheese repairs all the damage you inflicted on it. Since you're stuck here, would you like me to get you something from town? Like what? Actually, I have no idea. I haven't taken a good look around yet. Well, maybe you should. Carry on, Carla. Do I really have a choice? Yes, not. <laughs> well, that's not very piety. Come on, Dougie. <laughs> I sense he didn't like that very much. Go to the law offices before I get some bait. Oh, okay. Off to the law offices. It's actually a pretty, pretty cool town. I like it. Okay, time for um, a cutscene. Excuse me, is this? Come in. Come in! Come in! What can we do for you? I was told you guys could help me. Of course we can. What is it, wrongful dismemberment? Hit and run dinghy accident? Hurt your back while pillaging another ship? Uh, no. I need you to see if you can save my house from being destroyed. That doesn't sound very... Prestigious. Lucrative. Did I mention that my house is the Governor's Mansion on Melee Island? Governor's Mansion, you say? Well, that changes things. Nice use of the TM. But you can't be the governor. I'm here representing the Honorable Elaine Marley Threepwood, governor of the Tri-Island area. She's my wife. Oh, I get it. He's joking about the wife thing. And people think lawyers have no sense of humor. You know, it's illegal to make such wrongful and preposterous claims. Should we sue him? How much money do you think he has? I'm serious. We just got back from our honeymoon. Three glorious months on the high seas. And returned to find the mansion under siege by a dastardly demolitionist. Is this alleged demolitionist wealthy? Hmm, yes, we could sue them. Put a lien on their catapult. File a writ of habeas money. Wouldn't you rather go after the big bucks? If Elaine wins the election, she'll be a powerful person. And if the mansion is saved, she'll have someone to thank. And if that someone is you... We would be given a lot of money? Er, uh, not given. Think outside the juror's box, my esteemed colleagues. We could become the official lawyers for the Tri-Island area. Yes, the preferred legal team of the governor's office. What do you need from us, young fellow? Mm, I don't know. You handled Grandpa Marley's estate, right? Right. 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 Did he have a plan for such a crisis? Nope. 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 But we'll get right on it. Right. Right. Okay, I'll wait. Actually, this may take a while. Legal issues can be quite complicated. And take a lot of research. Isn't there something else you could do for a while? See the island. Take in the side. Um, I guess so. Oh, hey, you might as well take this. What is it? It's a letter from Grandpa Marley. It was supposed to be delivered after his granddaughter got married. This will save us a trip. Now be gone. We have trip. work to do. Hmm, let's see what it says. <clears throat> My dearest Elaine, if you are reading this, then you are married and I am dead. Now that you've finally settled down with a fearless pirate husband, it's time for you to claim the final pieces of your family's heritage. At the Luker Island Municipal Bank, you'll find a safe deposit chest under my name. Among other things, the chest contains the deed to the Marley Mansion. Never lose sight of this deed. Furthermore, the chest also contains my wedding gifts to you. I'm sorry that I was unable to deliver them in person. But I go to my grave confident that you've chosen a man I would be proud to call grandson. Lastly, and most importantly, the chest contains the keys to the most terrifying secret in the Caribbean. A secret ten times as terrifying as Big Whoop? <sighs> the secret of the ultimate insult! 
Yipes. If the unholy power of the ultimate insult ever found its way into the wrong hands, there's no telling what sorts of hex spawn mischief could be unleashed upon our fun-loving pirate citizens. Guard these secrets with your life, and know that no matter where you are, your grandfather is watching over you. With all my love, Horatio Tokamata Marley. How sweet. Uh, P.S. If your deadbeat parents come around looking for a handout, tell them to take a long walk off a short gangplank. Two, four, <laughs> six, eight. Who wants to litigate? Um, yes? What is it? We're quite busy. I'm rude. Have you guys figured out how to save my mansion yet? You mustn't rush the gears of justice, Mr. Threepwood. There are writs of no look and prende to research. Subpoenas of e pluribus unum to serve. Webs of red tape to spin. It would go faster. Much faster. If we had the original deed to the Marley Mansion. Hey, according to Grandpa Marley's letter, the deed's here on Lucar Island at the local bank. Well, don't just stand there. Make like a lobotomized monkey. Go to the bank and get the deed. Okay, then. Oh, let's do some lawyer jokes. Why don't sharks eat lawyers? Who says sharks don't eat lawyers? Oh, but sharks eat lawyers all the time. Once they've signed all the appropriate corpus delecti waivers. What do you call a galleon full of lawyers at the bottom of the ocean? A terrible tragedy. A horrible waste. A potential negligence litigation gold mine. A good start. I don't get it. Neither do I. Do the families of these lawyers have proper <laughs> representation? What's the difference between a lawyer and the ghost pirate LeChuck? Legally, the lawyer would have certain property rights. While LeChuck, being in a state of corpus transparentis, would be... No, no, no. One is an undead demonic plunderer, while the other is just LeChuck. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the pirate who kidnapped a dozen lawyers? Did the lawyers slap a lean on his ship? Did he get proper representation at his trial? No, no. He threatened to release one every hour until his demands were met. How can you tell when a lawyer is lying? Oh, that's easy. You hook him up to a reliable, though legally inadmissible, lie detector apparatus. Actually, you just check to see if his lips are moving. Did you hear the one about the lawyer who sued to get into paradise? Which one? Henderson versus St. Peter? Carbuncle versus Heaven? There's a lot of case law in this area. Wow, this is a tough room. Hmm, let's see if... Why don't sharks eat lawyers? <laughs> Who says sharks don't eat lawyers? Okay, nothing new on that one. But shark... When... Well, I'll let you guys get back to work. Please do. Maybe the... um, Let's try yes. if we can sue someone. What? We're... I'd like to sue someone. A lawsuit? Did someone say lawsuit? That sounds intriguing. Who do you want to sue? And why? Um, well, we yes. <laughs> Hardware requirements. Uh, yeah. I don't trust he's talking about this game. Let's sue the electronic gaming industry for driving hardware requirements to ridiculous heights, even for simple adventure games. What? I have no idea why I just said that. I'd still like to sue someone. Who do you want to sue? And I want to sue the twerp who's hurling boulders at my mansion. First things first, Mr. Threepwood. We have to stop him before we can sue him. I'd still like to sue someone. Yeah, how about uh, suing LeChuck? I'd like to sue the ghost pirate LeChuck for emotional distress. We can't sue a ghost. That'd be unethical. Immoral. And besides, there's no money in it. Okay then, well, moving on. let you guys get back to work. Please do. Off to the bank. Follow the money, indeed. Oh yeah, our first and encounter. Just why not, young lady? 
Bank policy, sir. The Australian man. Travelers checks because we've never heard of uh what's this mean? Australia. But you've honored them countless times before. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, these don't look real. Besides the funny name, there's a picture of a strange animal on here that has another one popping out of its belly. That's a kangaroo, you ignorant pirate trollop. See? There you go. Kangaroo. Another funny name. Funny to say, too. Kangaroo. <laughs> Kangaroo. Yes, a kangaroo can. Oh, oh chill there. I've got business to attend to, but I'll come back, and when I do, I want these honored. Have a nice day, Mr. Mandrill. He should switch to decaf. Hi there. Welcome to the second bank of lucre. I'm Brittany. How may I help you? Of course, her name is Brittany. What happened to the first bank of lucre? Nothing. It was our public relations department's idea. They felt that being called the first bank didn't project an image of experience. Um. Yeah, no point in going for these three first. I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Fine, sir. And whose name is it under? Marley. H. T. Marley. Here's a letter that might help. I see. This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I'm her dashing husband. <laughs> Not good enough. Oh, well, there is this. Oh my, <laughs> that will be fine, sir. Just a moment, Mr. Quidworth. There's a gentleman here to use the vault. Yes. Hmm. Well, everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Mr. Threefoot. As you wish, sir. If you'll just follow me into the vault, we can open up your grandfather-in-law's safe deposit chest. Whoa. Dashing 3D animation. Just dashing. Mm. Ah. Well, here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Wow, what an amazing collection of junk. Why would Grandpa Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old salt, wasn't he? <laughs> you know, we were all crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Whoa, look at that out there. That's like the box. Monkey pacifier, Krogamans, Jimmy Hoffa, do-it-yourself tattoo kit, bloody stiletto knife, bottomless mug. Well, you really should have called me first. We have rules about leaving the vault unattended. Gee, I'm sorry. I'll go back. And I'll see if I can scrounge up a rock. Wax lip. Wax lips. Ah, there it is. Stick him up! Yikes! Who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? I've got brush three foot. No, you're not. Well, what makes you say that? Well, for one thing, Guybrush is much better looking than you are. <laughs> and for another, the real Guybrush doesn't smell like anchovy halitosis. Ooh. All right, mate, bucko. That's enough of that. Back away from the barley heirlooms and be quick about it. Now, Mr. Threepwood, take a good long look at the last face you'll ever Whoa. see. What a pretty fella. I knew that deregulated banking would lead to this. It's uh we are stuck in the vault, it seems. It's an old cracked sword. I can't use this. It's a large packing sponge. I say, this hanky has PP embroidered on it. 
I highly doubt that this belonged to Grandpa Marley. Ooh, this thing reeks. And another sea sponge. Lovely. Good thing I at least Everybody know. Oh. This is a there seems to be something inside. It's a music box. Hey, there's a bottle of fine grog behind this music box. Lovely. Just what we needed. It's an empty safe. Okay now, I have to get out of here. Which is nice. I can't remove it with my bare hands. Easy as it looks, but luckily I know the trick. Oh, oops. Mm, that didn't get me anywhere. I broke the hinge off, but I broke the sword too. There's only one criminal more nefarious than me, and that's Pindar's feet. Actually, the sword seems oh. to be widening the crack a bit and screwing the door. Hey. I want all of it, and don't forget the loot behind the counter! That's G-U-I-B-R-U-S-H-G-H-R-E-E-P-W-O-O-D! And sadly we have to... Do this, oops. Oh. Hmm. I guess this grog is too mellow to eat through the door. Here we go. I'm free! So long, suckers! And remember, he's Oh look, that's a guy on uh, the wanted poster. To the right. <laughs> Hey, where'd he go? Hey, what's all the commotion? Uh oh. Get him! This can't be good. You're under arrest, Mr. Threepwood. Right. Down to the jailhouse with you. Double O. All right, you. Didn't your mum ever explain that bank robbery isn't nice? It wasn't me, it was the no nose bandit. Right. No nose bandit. Or perhaps it was the guy we caught red-handed. You! Although we haven't found the loot yet. You'll find it with the real robber. So let me go and get cracking. Detective work isn't my job. If you want to clear your name, you've got a few things to do. Okay, what? I need the perpetrator, I need proof he was at the scene of the crime, and I need proof that he committed the crime. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I could just bribe you. I'll ignore that, Threepwood. Around here, we do things by the book. Now, since this is your first offense, You'll be placed under house arrest. I get to go back to the mansion and play with Timmy? No. You are confined to Luca Island. You are not permitted to leave until and unless you are cleared of the crime of bank robbery. To make sure you don't leave, you are required to wear the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. I was wondering about that. It's rather uncomfortable. Can you loosen it? <laughs> well, that wouldn't be the point then, would it? It gets a lot more uncomfortable if you try to leave the island. <sighs> At least I'm not in jail. Inspector? Yes? I'm innocent. It was the no-nose pirate that robbed the bank. Who? Peg Nose Pete? Listen, if I had a monkey for every time some penny ante crook tried to pin their criminal malfeasance on Peg Nose Pete, I'd have enough monkeys to work out a reasonable sequel to Hamlet by now. <laughs> so what you're saying is that you don't believe me? No. Why don't you believe that Peg Nose Pete robbed the bank? Because, Mr. Threepwood, it's just not Peg Nose's style. If Peg Nose had robbed a bank, he would have snuck in under the cover of darkness, used a clever series of weights and pulleys to open the vault, and would have absconded with the loot without leaving a trace of his presence. Peg Nose Pete would never simply enter a bank in the middle of the day, waving a pistol around like a common thug. It's beneath him. That's not. Just for the sake of argument, what would it take to prove my innocence? Well... Since you don't have an alibi, you'd have to turn the finger of blame towards the real culprit. Great. Uh, how do I do that? 
Off the top of my head, I can think of three things that would do the job. A. New evidence would have to surface linking the so-called real perpetrator to the crime. Two. The stolen bank loot would have to be recovered. And Z. The real criminal would have to be caught and brought to justice. That should be a piece of cake for a pirate with a keen analytical mind like myself. I'll keep your cell warm. Can you remove this voodoo anglet? I really need to get back to my wife. Sorry you're stuck on this island until your trial arrives. Or until you manage to prove that you're <laughs> innocent. When can I expect my trial? As soon as the judge returns. Great, when's that? He should be back within a few weeks, when his vacation's over. A few weeks? I need to get back to Melee Island today. Well, I guess you should have thought of that before you went and robbed that bank now, shouldn't you? But I'm innocent. Tell it to the judge. Wow, this voodoo anklet sure is uncomfortable. That's why it's called the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. Good point. How's the investigation going? What investigation? You were caught red-handed. I'm just waiting for the judge. Oh. You're not gonna lift a finger to help me, are you? No. But what about justice? Haven't you heard? Justice is blind. Not to mention lazy, apparently. Quiet, you. Where can I find Pegnose Pete? If I knew that, he'd be locked up right now. Because he framed me for robbing the bank? No, because he's wanted for approximately 300 other crimes <laughs> on Luke Island. Whoa! 300? Jeez. Well, I better get out there and prove my innocence. Stay out of trouble. Oh. Ew, greasy. I guess they use it on these Iron Maiden spikes to allow smooth impaling. Ew. Oh, look, it's uh, Otis. And Jane. Otis, Again. what are you doing here? I'm a victim of society. Excuse me. Let me guess. You were framed, right? How did you know? Eh, just a hunch. Some old guy with a weird accent accused me of stealing flowers from his front yard. Him? When are you due to be released? He'll be released just about the same time you prove your <clears throat> innocence. Hey, just because my captain is a notorious bank robber, there's no reason to take it out on me. Otis! Jay? You're not helping. What is it with you and flowers? It's a plot, I tell you! People are to make me seem less fearsome and piratey by accusing me of being the kind of pirate who likes to pick flowers. If it's any comfort, Otis, I never found you all that fearsome to begin with. Ah, uh, go pick a pack of posies. Oh, and um, for those of you who don't remember, or didn't watch uh, my playthrough of the first game, uh, when we first met Otis, he was actually in jail on Melee Island, accused of stealing flowers. I'm feeling an incredible feeling of deja vu. Would it help if I gave you a breath mint? Wait, it's passed. And we gave him a breath mint. See you later, Otis. You're gonna get me out of here, right? Because he had horrible breath. Um, so... Hey, stop that! Ugh. What's with all the spritzing, mate? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome to Sense and Sensibilities, where subtle fragrances from exotic lands transport you to worlds of romance and delight. My name is Hugo, and I am a licensed aromatherapist. Can Hugo interest you in one of our fine perfumes, colognies, or aftershaves? Colognies? <laughs> Aren't you a little piratey for a perfume salesman? Hugo's not a pirate. Hugo's a model citizen, making a positive economic contribution to the economic well-being of Luca Island. Uh-huh. You sure look like a pirate to me. But Hugo's not a pirate. Not anymore, leastways. Uh -huh. you stop being a pirate? By taking Aussie Mandrill's Pirate Re-Education Mail Order Correspondence Course. What's that? 
It's a miracle, it is. In three weeks, it taught Hugo how to channel his destructive antisocial urges into more constructive avenues. Like selling scented bath water. Precisely. Why would you want to quit being a pirate in the first place? Because Hugo could read the writing on the wall. Hugo saw that the pirate lifestyle was being marginalized by powerful outside interests. Hugo decided to get out while the getting was good. Um, yeah. Doesn't Hugo oh. miss being a pirate? Not especially, no. Although sometimes Hugo misses the wind in his face. And the wenches. And Hugo misses the grog. And the decks covered with the blood of Hugo's oh. enemies. Oh, dude, chill. But other than that, no, not a thing. Yep. Might actually be a little more clever than he looks. You wouldn't happen to have seen a no-nosed pirate run by here with a sack of loot, would you? No, but Hugo did see you run by here with a sack of loot. When I ran by here with a sack of loot, which way was I going? Towards the deepest forests of Lucar Island. Thanks. What's that ungodly stench you've been exposing to unsuspecting passers-by? That's our featured fragrance, Eau de la Chuck. Who'd want to smell like LeChuck? Oh, it's very popular among tourists wanting to capture that authentic swashbuckling mystique. But LeChuck smelled like a rotting corpse. We prefer to refer to it as earthy. Oh, do LeChucks really that popular? Oh, yes, sir. In the last few hours, Hugo's gone through dozens of sample bottles. I freaking wonder if he was just spritzing on it. And everyone. See you later. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Let's actually take one of I'll these. I'll just take one. Don't hey, you dare. Stop that. Yoink! What do you think of this? That's our featured fragrance, Eau de la Chuck. It smells awful. We prefer to refer to it as earthy. Oh, yoink. Okay, with that uh, experience below our belt, um, let's take a break right now to process what's going on and what we're going to do next, which I think is return to the bank to find some evidence pointing towards Pagnos Pete. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye!